Hello everyone and welcome to this video. I'm going to teach you five ways that you can paint trees. Now obviously there are more than five species of trees in the world but I want to give you a few pointers as to how you can create the effect of trees to give an impression of a tree and also how you can be quite detailed with the trees. So let's get into the painting. So I have here a sheet of Bockingford paper that's taped to the board and I'm going to take just a single colour for this I'm using a, a dark green and I'm using my number six brush and with the brush loaded you can quite simply create the shape of a tree in one single motion on the paper. With the trunk there. Now if I were to take slightly darker colour by adding some alizarin crimson, whilst that's still wet I can drop that in and let that run. go even darker I drop that in and that gives me a nice simple tree using the same technique work my way down this shape So this time I'm using a blue-grey colour mix. And I could do the opposite now. I can actually add in some areas of green. Just drop those in whilst the initial wash is wet. What I'm going to do for both of these just land them actually on some ground. So that's two ways using similar methods there. So next this is easiest to demonstrate slightly more evergreen colour and this time I'm going to use number four and this is to this one this technique is used to create fir trees or evergreen trees, pine trees and we're using the tip of the brush this time. So I want to put a single line down and then starting from the top I want to be quite loose and I'm going to move side to side. And because I'm moving quickly it means there's not a lot of control there. And then I can add in some more paint. And again, just give that a footing. So I can now do another example of that. One small mark at the top of the, the tree and then very loosely, very quickly put the initial wash down, change the colour slightly, I've just added some Payne's grey to this one. And the trunk. There we are. Again, do that one more time. Slightly darker this time. Make that stand out. So again, a little dash at the top. And I'm going to be working my way all the way down. Make sure I've got enough paint on my brush. And 
And again, with that one, if I was to take some cadmium yellow and just drop that in, that'll get darker as it mixes towards the bottom. And again, let's just ground that as well. So that's another method of creating evergreen pine trees you have to work quite quickly for this one this one we're blending in the paint on the paper which is a good effect as well so next I want to go a little bit more detailed and for this one you can paint in the trunk and the branches first and then we'll put the leaves over the top so I want to mix up a fairly dark brown colour. This needs to be quite strong. So, starting from the bottom, again, let's give it some ground. I want to come up and then using that point of the brush, I'm going to bring some larger branches up. I'm twisting the brush as I go up. Let's put another one a bit lower down. Okay. Now that looks quite weird at the moment because we haven't got any of the smaller branches in. So now I can start to fill this out. So I want a little bit less pressure on the brush to get those thinner branches. Again, this is still using the size four. Work my way down. So you can see that I am using the brush from bottom to top and from top to bottom. This is a good one if you like a lot of detail because actually you can make this as dense as you are happy with. Keep working in, infill these gaps. It doesn't have to be perfect. No tree is perfect. It's full of lots of little twigs and branches. They get smaller as they get towards the top of the canopy. Add a few more details in here. Again, doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. Just going to thicken that branch. That looks a bit weedy for being attached to the the trunk. Okay. Whilst that's drying, I'm just going to paint another tree here. Not quite as big as that one. Make this slightly darker. Again, put some ground on it. We'll put a bigger trunk on here. A few more horizontals, I think, for this one. To get this effect of it starting out thin, start with light pressure and then push further down on your brush and you can see that the line becomes bigger. We'll work our way back up the top here. There we go. Slightly more conical shape there. This is rounder. 
Now I'm going to take larger size 10 brush. And what I'm wanting to do here is to layer what looks like a group of leaves. So I'm not going to paint the individual leaves for this bit. But I'm just going to add some colour over the top, different oranges and browns, to give the effect of the light going through the tree. So if I take some cadmium yellow, some cadmium red, to begin with, plenty of water for this because I want this to be quite loose to give that translucent um, feel to it. I'm just going to dab that on. What I don't want to do is to lift up too much of the branches underneath which is why you just need to allow it to dry for a few minutes. I'm just going to add a little bit more red to that mix as I come down here. I'm going to drop some of that colour in nice and gently as we come down towards the bottom, leaving lots of white. Because for some trees you can obviously see straight through them. I'm going to add some blue to that mix. Just give me a nice shadow colour. A little bit more. Let's make some of these at the bottom darker. In fact, I'm going to just put a wash over the top of that trunk. So that's a good one to do as well if you like lots of detail get those branches in make sure they they dry and it doesn't matter if some of it runs absolutely fine but that gives you a sense of the mass of the tree and it shows some light coming through it as well on the second in this style I'm going to be a little bit more deliberate with my painting here I'm going to create a nice strong mix a nice green Get that mixed up and now I'm going to quite carefully paint the the leaves on the tree using the end of my brush so I've loaded up the brush I've got a good point and it's almost a stippling effect just dabbing the paint on here working away around the tree. Now this is good because it allows me to define the shape of the tree with greater detail. And I can leave gaps to allow the light to come through. And also, when I push down on that point of the brush, it actually gives me a bit of a shape there. I can show you better towards this edge here. So I'll define the edge of the tree, the outline. I'll come down here, we'll bring a few leaves. Coming out the bottom. Right, let me make that slightly different shade of green now, and I can mix that on the page, as well as introduce that into new areas. Again, I'm working quickly, so that's before the first layer dries. By doing different tones of the green, so I've got slightly stronger, slightly deeper in color, that gives it a 3D effect. It adds shape and volume. So going even stronger now. Get towards the center of the tree. Things are getting darker. Just adjust that color slightly. So I used complementary color there. I added in some alizarin crimson. So that gives me a, a darker green. And 
And as that brush is beginning to dry out, you can start to see it looks like almost individual leaves appearing. If I go back to the top of the tree, I can use a lighter green now, a more vivid green. And if I use that dry brush effect, so load up the brush and then drying it out. I can add more detail. That's only taken a few minutes to do. That's very effective. And so the final way out of these five ways to paint a tree is to combine all of these different techniques in one tree. So let's put in in the trunk let's put in a few branches but it doesn't need to be much as you can see because I'm on the edge of the page here I shall just concentrate on the left hand side I'm going to leave some gaps because I can infill those with the leaves so I don't need to show everything let's go up to the top Back to size six. So let's start this time with a lighter green at the top. So I can use that second technique here. Working quickly to put some lines in. As I come down, I'm actually going to put a wash in, which is our first technique. Bring that down. I'm going to add some blue and some alizarin crimson to this and drop that in, wet in wet, again similar to our first technique. Now as I come down, I'm getting a stronger colour and I'm just going to wash in some areas. I'm going to leave some gaps. Allow that to come down. And infill between the trunk there. There we are. And then with a nice strong green. And stipple in, picking up some of the paint that's already on the paper. There we go. And also, where we've got these these gaps, we can show the individual branches. So I am just going to add a darker colour on the inside. So that's where the, the deeper shadow will be if the light is shining on one side. So let's make that right hand side the main shadow side. We can vary that. And I can also, if I take some ultramarine blue, run some shadow over that initial part of the trunk and bring that down. I could 
probably go a little bit darker. There we go. And now that colour will just blend in on the page. So there we have five different ways to paint trees. I hope that's been useful. I hope you've learned something there. Give these techniques a try at home. Get your paints out. Spend 10, 15 minutes having a go at these. They don't need to be exact trees. They don't need to be a specific species of tree. But just have some fun. You can see that we've got different techniques here. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, goodbye.